Sarah Hildebrand, Final X. Woot woot. You always have fun at these things, but I know how serious this is to you as well. Right. Just talk about the challenge ahead. You don't get on a U.S. team without becoming the best in your country. Right. Right? No, you know, I really love Final X. I, I just don't get to compete domestically very often at this point in my career anymore, So, except for these tournaments. So it's so fun to get to, to be here on home soil. We, we do it up, you know, and my parents are here. I just love that. With that said, yeah, it's it's a stressful time as much as it is exciting, and there's a lot of preparation that's gone into this. Um, I do really work to peak for this competition, so um, having put in the training and the weight cutting and the strength training, all of that to like come in together for this moment, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. But with that said, that's the stuff I love about this sport. So I'm excited for it all to come together tomorrow and just be the best me I can be on the mat. And the best you has been one of the best in the world. But I know you want to be the best, right? Yes! Uh, talk about that challenge, how it motivates you, how it uh, challenges you, how it changes your days. There's this wall at the Olympic Training Center where I train and it has pictures of all the Olympic and world champions on there. And I've looked at it every day for the last seven years since I've lived out there and I'm not on it. And I have to see it every day when I walk in and it's just like, to know that I've been, you know, I used to walk in and see that wall and it was like, oh my gosh, me? I don't know if I'd ever be on that wall. And then I'd walk in and be like, I'm inspired to be on that wall. And then sometimes I'd walk in and I'd be like, how the sh crap am I not on that wall? You know, like getting pissed off. And now it just comes to this point, like, wow, you know, like I've gotten to go wrestle these people. I've gotten to be on that stage and it doesn't have to be about that anymore. And I think I've I've stopped obsessing over this in a way that's started stifling me and my love for wrestling and my love for myself even. Mm -hmm. uh, so to be freed from this like, this want, this need that I thought I needed and just have it be like this amazing experience that I'm a part of and it's not about that medal. It's like I, I, I truly believe I've stepped into that part of my wrestling career and you know, if I get the medal, if I don't, that is what it is. But at the end of the day, I think I've grown so much from that, and that I'm so grateful for. Yeah, and your family still comes out and supports you. You've got your coach that led you into wrestling when you were a youth. I mean, <laughs> talk about how you've kept that group together, because everyone needs a support, and, and the, the people that got you here are still with you all the way. Yeah, it, that's the most important thing to me, um, especially, what, you know, exactly why I have Coach Harper still in my corner. I he's done so much for me and I would not be standing here without him, without my parents, my siblings. So just to have that group together every day when I'm getting ready for these competitions, uh, it's just, it's so special. I, and that's exactly what I need. And when you get this close to competing, it's maybe not about the technique. It's not about the, the, the conditioning anymore at that moment in time. It's just about being around people who you love and who love you. And and that's what I have. It's, it's a strong team. It's, it's, it's unbeatable, in my opinion. Gosh, just like, seems like yesterday you were getting a medal around your neck at an Olympics. And we're a year from another one. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I know you can't look past tomorrow. You can't look past this season. But, I mean... You know, this is part of a process to a different different goal. How do you see this year and this week and building up to a chance to be in Paris? For sure. You know, Paris is the end game, so I do see these all steps to that. Um, and I don't think that's a way of me looking too far ahead in the future or anything. I think these are just good building blocks for that and, um, and to take them seriously because the more seriously and the more present I can be in this moment, the better foundation I'm setting for Paris. And so, uh, I'm, you know, I'm excited that tomorrow is an opportunity to make this world team, which is the first qualifier for Paris Games. Um, and that's all part of the big plan. So to get to do the next step to getting ready for the Olympics, you know, I've, I've been to the Olympics. I know what that's like, and, and I want to do it again. Awesome. Well, hey, we look forward to seeing you out there tomorrow. And, yes. and you and Adeline are pretty good friends because you could pick on each other, right? Oh, yeah. We are the best of friends. <laughs> Having her in the room every day has been so cool. It's actually been really neat to just get to grow my relationship with her because she's, first of all, just so intelligent and such an impressive wrestler, but she's a really amazing woman, and she's taught me to to become a better woman as well. So I feel super lucky to be in such close proximity with her. And, of course, her sweet little babies who bring so much perspective uh, into the room. It's, it's a cool thing. Awesome. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, thank you.